Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, today I wanted to talk about how to calculate interest using a financial calculator. So I'm going to be using the Texas Instruments BA2 Plus Professional Calculator right here. Um, this calculator is pretty much a required calculator or any type of financial calculator is required for an introductory finance course. So I'm going to be using these buttons right here, the N, I, Y, P, V, P, M, T, and F, V buttons to show you how to calculate um, interest or future value or present value of any amount. So I'm going to start with a simple example. Let's say that um, you're depositing $100 into your account today, your bank account, and let's say that who wishes, right, um, that the interest was 10%. And um, let's say that you're going to keep the money in the bank for, I'll say, 12 years. Um, so we're going to calculate how much your money will be worth after 12 years in the bank at 10%. So to solve this question, it's very simple. We're going to use first um, first and foremost, make sure you got the calculator set to uh, four decimals. Um, I'll show you guys how to do this in the next video. It's pretty simple, but it's not required for this example because I think the numbers will be pretty easy. Um, so for N, what we're going to do initially is we're going to hit the N button. So after you hit the N button, you're going to get this N equals 0 0.0000. Um, then I want you to hit 12. So just press 12 and then hit N again. And then it's going to say N equals 12. So this means that um, the calculator now understands that you're going to be keeping money in the bank for 12 years. So now you want to obviously enter how much money you're going to be putting in the bank. So you want to, how much did we choose? $100. So just go to 100. So hit in 100. And then you want to hit the plus minus sign which should be right next to the equal button the plus minus sign and what this is going to do is it's going to make the hundred turn into a negative hundred this is important because what we're doing is we're doing a cash outflow meaning that the calculator needs to understand that you're taking money out of your own account well your own private savings let's say and you're putting it into the bank so that's why it's a negative number so now you have negative 100 so now just go ahead and hit pv so this means that your present value is a hundred dollars so you're putting in a hundred dollars in your bank account um today so now your interest we said was 10 percent. so um go ahead and hit 10 and hit iy which is right next between uh n and pv so after you hit IY, you're going to get IY equals 10. And this basically means that your interest is 10%. So then after that, you're going to hit PMT. This is basically payment. And what this is supposed to do is basically if you're adding more money into your bank account every year, then you would use this function. But since we're not doing that, we're just going to hit zero and hit PMT. So payment equals zero. And now finally, after doing all of that, we're just basically going to compute the future value of our money. So we're going to hit the CPT button, which is all the way on the top left side of the calculator, CPT. We're going to hit the CPT button, and then we're going to hit the FV button. And after we hit the CPT and FV button, it's going to give us exactly how much our money is going to be worth after 12 years at 10%. This is a very simple tutorial for how to do uh, basic interest calculation or a future value calculation. You can use this in a more advanced method, which I'm going to show in the later video for a discounted cash flow. But um, I would say this is a very powerful tool. You can also calculate, let's say, how long it would take to get to, um, let's say, $200 if you deposited $100 today at 10%. So all we're going to do is we're going to hit, um, for N, we're going to hit, uh, let's say, well, we're actually competing for N, so we're not going to hit anything for N. For I, we're going to hit 10. So 10% I. For PV, we're going to hit 100 negative again. $100 we're depositing today. PMT is going to be zero. And uh, future value, let's say, is 200. Make sure this is positive because it's going to be an outflow. Basically, we want to collect $200 in the future. 
So now what we're asking the calculator is how long will it take me if I put in $100 today and the interest rate is 10%, how long will it take me before my money turns into $200? So all we're going to do is hit compute N and the calculator tells us it will take 7.2 years before $100 will turn into $200 if we're um, using our interest annually. Now remember this is this calculator is set to calculate at an annual interval uh, in the following videos then the, the next videos I'll show you guys how to change that to uh, let's say compounding monthly or compounding uh, quarterly you can do many things with the financial calculator so um, this is just a basic simple introduction if you have any questions or comments uh, feel free to send me a PM and I'll be glad to reply thank you